it's me and today today is another Pokemon video heck yeah I only did another one of these which is my top 10 favorite Pokemon um, go check it out it was pretty cool uh, pretty 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 good it did pretty well uh, Oh my god! What the heck? There he goes. Alright. So, Pokemon had some pretty good changes. Like, from Sun and Moon to Let's Go Pikachu, they added Ride Pokemon. Pretty good, pretty sweet. Following Pokemon, pretty good. But, what are some changes that weren't good? Today, I'm going to be listing off my five, top five, least favorite changes that went from Pokemon to its next generation. And, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, the first change that I did not like was bad, shiny sparkles from... X and Y to Sun and Moon in Let's Go Pikachu. Because they just had one singular star just go BAM! And if you want to screenshot it, it's pretty bad. Because the star covers up the whole entire freaking Pokemon. Come on, man! And also, it wasn't a very good change. Like, it was a really bad change. And, well, I didn't really like it. Uh, oh, and so the next change is following Pokemon. Why did they remove following Pokemon from the earlier generations? I mean, later generations. Because let's go Pikachu and Eevee had them, and they looked so good. They looked so amazing in-game. They looked amazing but Sword and Shield were like, hmm, let's take away the one thing everybody liked about Pokemon in the overworld. Are you serious, Game Freak? Are you serious? You know what's going to happen tomorrow? Well, tomorrow, I'm going to come into your house and do this to you. Okay, please bring back following Pokemon. They were amazing. Next thing is the removal of the PSS. It was the removal of the PSS is because I don't like the removal of the are you serious? Mm, mm, mm. Stop. Chair. I don't like the PSS because, well, I do like the PSS. It was so easy to battle and, like, do trades and stuff when we used to have it. But they just decided to take it away. Like, Link battles are pretty good. Pokemon Sword and Shield. But, like, and let's go Pikachu. The Pokemon codes and stuff. But, I mean, they kind of get old after a while. You know, kind of get old. A little boring playing with them for everything. Like, I want to guarantee that I'm going to do with my friend. Like, if, if me and Hersha are playing Pokemon Sword and Shield, and we want to battle each other, we put a link code. And we type in the link code. Like, any link code. And Hershith or me, if we do it a, a little late, someone from the other side of the world can enter the same exact link code and be able to battle us. No, I want to guarantee who I'm going to battle. Please bring back the PSS. Please, please, please. 
Same situation for link trades. Same exact thing. I don't want to trade with someone that I don't know. What if they give me like missing no or hacked Groudon or Ferrothorn Monster or Conklebe? Okay, I don't, I don't want a Conklebe. I don't want a conco bee. That's a fact. Anyways, next thing I hate is a new shiny hunting method. Can we please get a new shiny hunting method? Let's go ahead catch combos, which were pretty sweet. Yeah, they were pretty sweet. Uh, please bring back a new shiny hunting method that is fun. I mean, warp riding, amazing. It's pretty fun. It's kind of like an obby in Roblox. But you're always, like, moving. You don't jump or anything. So, I mean, it's pretty fun, but not as fun as, like, catch comboing or something. So, please, bring back a new method. Please. Pretty please. I'm asking you, please. Anyways, before I get to the last one, um... Before I get to the last one, quick plug-in alert. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you can get notified when we make a new video. Alright, back to the list. Okay. Uh, the last thing is the National Pokedex. I think everyone doesn't like this change. I mean, some Poketubers think it's okay. I don't know why. I'm kind of a Poketuber and a YouTuber, so... Um, National Pokedex would be really helpful so you can get a lot more of your favorite Pokemon. Like, your favorite Pokemon is Sceptile, like MJTV and Pokemon 7. No, not Pokemon 7. True Green 7. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go subscribe to their channels as well. They're awesome PokeTubers. Make sure to subscribe to them and me if you haven't already. But if your favorite Pokemon is Sceptile, sorry, you can't get Sceptile in this game anymore. I hope they bring back Sceptile. I really like Sceptile. Not my favorite Pokemon. Charizard is my favorite Pokemon. But it's really cool. Really cool. I hope they bring it back in the DLC. So, ouch. Ow. Stop it, camera. And... Yeah, that's it. That's it for my top 10 favorite Pokemon. Not, what What am I saying? My top, the top five changes I do not like at all. And they make very little, well, National Pokedex makes sense. I just don't like that they did that, like. Please. But, um, other than that, actually, there's also one thing. This afternoon, like, if you're watching this on the day it came out, on the day it came out, I'm recording this on... Okay, so I'm recording this on June 17th. So if you're watching this on June 17th, the day came out this afternoon at when it strikes 7 o'clock. I'm going to do a cooking video. My first cooking video on this channel. We're going to make a thing called mug cake. Um... You can actually make it in like five minutes, so that video is going to be pretty dang short. But, yeah, we're going to do it. We're, we're going to rock and roll. We are going to make that a thing. So, other than that, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. And other than that, there's nothing else. So, I will see you.
in the next video. Bye!